Hello class, uh, welcome to lesson 2.3. So uh, this lesson is about parallel lines and triangle angle sums. So uh, the essential question is, what is true about the interior and exterior angle measures of a triangle? So this time we're um, gonna use sort of the parallel lines, uh, postulates and, and um, concepts and extend them to you know angles for uh, triangles. So we want to be able to solve problems using the measures of interior and exterior angles of triangles. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do is a little, kind of a little experiment here. We have two triangles um, before us, and, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to measure the angles of these triangles using this protractor. So I'm going to take this triangle one, I'm going to take each of the sides, and I'm going to measure the angle for the sides, okay? So in order to remember, in order to measure an angle in a, uh, any angle, you have to, you know, you have to be able to rotate it uh, or rotate the protractor in such a way so that the vertex of the angle lines up with the middle of the protractor. And ideally, you want one of the sides of the angle to line up with the bottom of the protractor because the bottom of the protractor is where the zero line is. And then you can just kind of measure, well, you can kind of tell that this is about 70 degrees. So this angle is about 70 uh, degrees. And I'll go ahead and uh, actually go ahead and list that here. And I'll get rid of this angle. So this angle is roughly 70 degrees. Okay, so then we'll next we'll take the blue side, we'll line the vertex there, we'll try to we'll try to rotate this the best we can. And then so if you read that, it looks to be uh, it looks to be about if you're looking at the bottom uh, number about 65 degrees. So we'll, we'll go ahead and say it's about 65 degrees or so. So this is 65. Now let's go ahead and look at the purple side here. Okay, and then if you look at the this here, it looks to be about uh, about the 45 degree mark. So we'll go ahead and say about 45 degrees. Again, this is just an estimation based off of you know what we see here. So we'll say it's about 45 degrees. Now notice that if you were to combine these angles uh, together, right? Well, 65 and 45 is 110, and then 110 plus 70 is 180. So we have 70 plus 65 plus about 45 is 180. Okay, very interesting finding. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing for another triangle. So this is triangle 2, and we're going to drag each of the, uh, the sides for that as well and see if we see any patterns here. So if I were to rotate this angle, this one's a little bit easier to measure. That looks to be uh, about 30 degrees. All right, now we'll measure the blue. This one's kind of lined up for us. So that looks to be about 135. So we'll measure that. We'll say that's 135. Finally, we're looking at this one. We'll rotate that. We'll need to rotate a little bit more here. Almost there. And that looks to be about, again, it needs to be adjusted a little bit like this, but that looks to be about 25. 
Um, so it, this angle is about 25 degrees. So then again, if you add 30 plus 135 plus 25, well, you're gonna get 180 degrees. So the pattern here is that if you were to take all the legs of each of the triangles or all the angles and measure them, add them together, you're always going to get a sum of 180 degrees. And this finding, which we found, you know, experimentally, uh, this is known as the triangle angle sum theorem. So the sum of the measures of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So if you're given a triangle, all the angles add up to 180. Very simple theorem, um, very powerful too in uh, problems. So now we're looking at a parallel, so we're going to look at a postulate. This one, we'll call, we'll call this one the parallel postulate slash theorem. And this is not an official name. This is just something that I call it. It's, a, it's some kind of, um, you know, postulate that, you know, that doesn't really have a name in the book. But it, the postulate states that, that through a point not on the line, there is one and only one line parallel to the given line. So basically, you can always draw a parallel line to another line through one point that is not on the line. So basically, if you have a, a, a line B, then there is a line A, uh, which is the only line that can be parallel to line B. Okay, so now let's look at uh, an example with the triangle angle sum theorem. So we're given this triangle, the triangle ABC, and we wanna prove that uh, the angles add up to 180. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually use a flow proof here. Remember the flow proof is like a diagram format where you have the inside the boxes, you have your, uh, your actual statements, and underneath the boxes are the reasons. And between each box is an arrow that leads from one statement to the next. Okay, so for the flow proof, remember we our first box is we're given that we have a triangle ABC, and, and the reason is that it's given. And what we're going to do to prove this is we're going to draw two lines, okay, two parallel lines. We'll call them M and uh, AB. So we'll construct this line, and this is using the parallel postulate that I mentioned earlier, right? The parallel postulate, right, which states that if you if you have a line, then you can always draw a parallel line to it. Uh, from a given point right here. So in this case, we're using this point and, and um, drawing our parallel line. So we're just randomly making these lines. The reason why we're making these lines is we're gonna be using a theorem with them. We're gonna be using the alternate interior angles theorem. So, the, so if you notice, since we have parallel lines here, well, we have a few angles that are made from this, right? So notice that five and two are alternate interior angles. Four and one are also alternate interior angles. And so remember that by the theorem, they're, they have to be congruent. And so they're congruent to each other. And so that's the reason for that statement. And then so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to also use the parallel line to show that, well, four, three, and five uh, add up to 180 degrees because they add up to this straight angle, which is this entire line, okay? So they all add up to 180 degrees, and that's known as the angle addition postulate or the definition of a straight angle. Okay, so the angle addition postulate states that you can add angles together to get a bigger angle. So we have angle four plus angle five plus angle three is 180. Then we're gonna put these, what we're gonna do is, since we know angle two is congruent to angle five, we're gonna go ahead and make a substitution. Uh, and we know that angle one is congruent to angle four. So we're substituting that in. When we do that, um, when we put those two ideas together, we get, um, we get that angle one plus measure of angle two plus measure of angle three is 180 degrees. And this is by substitution because we plugged in. And this ends the proof because we just uh, showed that angle one, two, and three have to add up to 180. Okay, so that shows the proof of the triangle angle sum theorem. So now let's actually use, uh, let's actually use the, you know, the theorem in this example. So first off, we have um, a, a diagram with a big, a large triangle divided into two smaller triangles. 
and we want to find the values x and y. So first off, uh, let's note that 78, de uh, 78 degrees and y, they actually form a linear pair. And because they form a linear pair, that means that they add up to 180. They're a linear pair, remember, because they actually share this side and uh, they're supplementary. And so we know that y plus 78 is equal to 180. And so we can solve for y here by subtracting 78 on both sides. And so we get y is equal to 102 degrees. And so now we know y. And so let's go ahead and label this. Now we want to find x. But to find x, we can use the triangle angle sum theorem because we got a mini, we got a triangle here, right? And we know that the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 32 plus 78 plus x. So using the triangle angle sum theorem, we're going to say that 32 plus 78 plus x is equal to 180. And 32 plus 78, that's 110. And so if you subtract 110 on both sides, it looks like x is 70. And so we got both of our um, unknown angles. All right, so that was the triangle angle sum theorem. So now the next uh, theorem that we're going to actually look at is the triangle exterior angle theorem. So the theorem states that the measure of each exterior angle equals the sum of the measures of its two remote interior angles. So the exterior angle is the one given in red, which is the one that's on the outside, exterior meaning outside. So uh, that's the exterior angle, which is angle one. The remote interior angles are angles two and three. They're the angles that are farthest away from the exterior angle, but they're also interior. They're inside the triangle itself. So that's what we call the remote interior angles. So the theorem states that the exterior angle is equal to whenever you add the two remote interior angles. So let's look at this example. So right now, angle one is my, my um, exterior angle. And so we know that from the exterior angle, um, you know, the, from the uh, theorem, which is the triangle exterior angle theorem, we know that the measure of the exterior angle is equal to the measures of the remote interior angles. So we simply add them together. That's going to give us 120 degrees. Okay, so now this one, this time we're given the exterior angle. So the exterior angle is 109. And it's equal to the sum of my two remote interior angles. So it's equal to the sum of angle 2 plus 51 degrees. And so we're solving for angle 2, so we can subtract 51 on both sides. And we get, well, we get 58 is equal to the measure of angle 2. All right, so now we're going to look at uh, an uh, actual, like a word problem. So Cheyenne built this display for her ornament collection. Each shelf is parallel to the base. She recalls only the angle measures shown in the diagram. Now she wants to build another one just like it. What are the measures of angles one, two, and three? And so what we're gonna do is, well, we're basically focused on part of the shelf, okay? Or part of the display here for the collection. So we're focused on that star-like part to it, okay? so. That's the diagram that we're interested in. And so she remembers some of the angles, but she doesn't remember all the angles. Okay, so we're given some unknowns here. And so we want to figure out one, two, and three. So first off, we know that each shelf is parallel to the base. And so we know that the two shelves given in red are parallel to each other. So that gives us information about um, those two lines being parallel. So now we'll go ahead and look for the solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on those parallel shelves cut by the transversal given in red. 
and we'll go ahead and include this um, divider uh, that was in the example. And what we're going to do is we know that those two um, parallel lines are cut by the red transversal. We know that that angle is 75 degrees and the angles given in green are corresponding angles. Okay, so that means that 55 and angle 1 uh, together make up that corresponding angle to the one on the top. Okay, it has to add up so that it's the same angle. So because it adds up to the, so it's the same angle, we know that angle 1 plus 55 is the same thing as 75. And so we can solve for angle 1 by subtracting on 20, 55 on both sides, and we get that angle 1 is 20. So now we know that this is 20 degrees, and 20 and 55 is 75, and so now these are congruent because the lines are parallel, which is what we want. So we know angle 1. So next we want to focus on this triangle because now we know that angle 1 is actually 20 degrees and so we can find out what angle 2 is because we know we can actually use the triangle angle the triangle exterior angle theorem because this this angle right here is an exterior angle so we can actually use that theorem and so we know that the exterior angle is actually equal to the sum of its um, remote interior angles one and two and so we can go ahead and and we know that and we know that one is equal to 20 degrees so we can go ahead and replace one with 20 and then we can solve for angle two and we get 55 degrees and so angle two is 55 and if you think about it this makes sense because 55 and 2 are are also alternate interior angles right if you think of this as your transversal well, they're alternate interior angles and so it makes sense that this is 55 degrees so you can also think of it that way all right so now we got angles one and two now we're looking for angle three and so we're going to use this part of the triangle in the ornament collection uh bin i guess you can call it I'm not sure and um and so we can use the triangle angle sum theorem we know that this is 45 this is 45 and we have to figure out what this angle is and when we add these three angles together we get 180 right and so 45 plus 45 plus all of this angle one angle three plus angle one plus 55 that's all one angle right that adds together and that's this angle right here and if we add up all those angles they have to add up to 180 but like we said we know what angle one is it's 20 so we can replace that and we can combine our like terms and then we can subtract 165 on both sides and we get angle 3 15 degrees all right guys that's it uh, for the lesson i hope you uh, learned a few things from this video and as usual i'll see you in the next one